fucking jerk. What's up and welcome to week 26 of the Manga Club. Uh, week 26 marks the halfway point through an entire year. And as you can see, we're uh, a beaming success. <laughs> uh, the Manga Club. Man, I can yeah, we have, a, we have a weird situation with our Manga Club. Uh, one dude has been studying so much, he reverse cycled, so he's asleep right now. One dude got called to work to Thunder Bay. One guy is taking a break from all social media platforms, just need to get that mental health back in check. Uh, one buddy just got a bunch of wisdom teeth removed, and uh, they're not doing well, like, at all. <laughs> and the other one's quarantined in a room <laughs> and just sick. Um, so... It's just me and Alyssa this week. I don't know what this trend's been up to. I didn't even offer her the invite to come. <laughs> I'm sure she would have loved to do a personality yeah. test. <laughs> yeah, she's, some, she's mostly joined like our random ones for the most part. She has been. Um, so for this week, uh, our end of the month special of Spooktober, we're going to find out about ourselves. And what can be more scarier than that? We're going to take a personality test. Oh, my God. Man, let's okay. just get real spooky. Real spooky. And I got, sa I got my sage out. right here. I got my Sensi gift pack right here. We're good to go. Not Sensi. Shit. I wanted to make a joke about what's that shit website where you can order, like, arts and crafts stuff that they always sell sage on? Pinterest? No. Damn it, what site am I thinking of? Uh, Etsy. Etsy? Uh, Etsy, yeah. I got my Etsy sage kit right here. I'm going to cleanse, and then we're going to do a crystal. And we'll be <laughs> happy for uh, the end of Spooktober, guys. I don't do well with horror stuff at all. Uh-uh. I was trying to convince him to do a uh, let's download a scary game and stream us. Not stream. Uh, record us playing. I downloaded a scary game. What's scarier That's than what? Geometry or uh, Geodash? What the fuck's it called? I can't what? remember the name of it now. Maybe it is Geodash. I think Geodash. Uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm, I'm a rageaholic. <laughs> it's kind of my whole personality. I'm crashing and burning. Oh Somebody God. help! Oh, fuck, fuck that shtick up. Oh, whatever. Um, anyway, should we get right to it? Or do you have anything you want to say for the halfway point of the manga club? No, I got nothing. How have, you, how have you been yeah. enjoying manga? Uh, <laughs> I had uh, a friend of mine call me a weeb because I made a uh, step ladder stepsister joke. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Oh, is that the one where the ladder falls over? It's like, what are you doing? What are you doing, step ladder? Step ladder. Ah. <laughs> yeah. She, uh, um. Sorry. Go ahead. No, she called me a, a weeb, and we went through the whole thing. Like, no, we discussed this before. I'm not a weeb unless I've purchased manga related things and i haven't yet if that's the standard i was a weeb since way back okay <laughs> oh yeah like the pokemon and shit count because that was, that was uh, i don't know i've as much as pokemon is 100 percent an anime um i don't know if i consider that especially if it's been handled by four kids <laughs> that's yeah. the people who did the dub and shit <laughs> um like but no me. it's absolutely an anime uh, Dragon Ball, Sailor Moon, Card Captors, Inuasha. That's the kind yeah, of shit to play on like YT kid. YTV and Cartoon Network, yeah. Um I think the only other ones I've like manga that I really like was obviously the like, Studio Ghibli movies, but that I still feel that doesn't count. Really? That's like quintessential anime. That's a gateway. Yeah, but That's not a like gateway weed. drug. That is the weed of anime. <laughs> doesn't make me a weeb though. Makes you a weed. <laughs> oh, sorry, I was doing this earlier. <laughs> oh, that looks so creepy because it looks so disjointed. <laughs> I got what's that Coke jaw? <laughs> I'm tweaking okay. on cocaine. Uh, that like video was from some type of tr Trump related trial. Hey, was it? Oh shit. Yeah. I'm gonna get you disbarred. Where's my cocaine? Can you just like keep cocaine in your ear? What would be like the safest spot on your body to keep cocaine at all times in case you needed like a quick? <laughs> oh, a quick one. Mm. No, just the one bump. I heard to like uh, sneak drugs into places was in the bottom of your like in the bottom of your shoe, like under the like your foot's here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, 
and then, and then uh, higher here and then the two. Yeah, take the wheel out of your heelys and then the cavity. <laughs> stick a little crack rock. A lot of people know that, but you can keep your weed and drugs in there. Yeah, I know someone who used to deal out of high school literally using the cavity of his heelys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, uh, he might still deal to this day. I shouldn't say his name. Whatever. Um, and so how, how are you feeling about the, the progress of Manga Club? I think our first session we had a solid eight people, really enthusiastic, and I kind of get the sense that it might be a bit of a chore to people now, which is why for the month of November, I just want to take a break. I'm going to still be reading. Uh, you can obviously still participate, but mm. not mandatory. I will do this fucking video solo if I have to. <clears throat> okay. Keep the spirit alive. <laughs> or maybe I'll see if I can recruit anybody online. <laughs> I've been enjoying it. That's fine. All right, shall we get to the personality test? Yes. How about I read you the odd questions, you read me the even ones, and we'll do them. Oh, we're going to figure out like our joint personality. Huh? Wait, our what? joint personality because... The Jung typo test, yeah? No, yeah, but we're going to fill it in jointly? Yes. I fill in yours, okay. you're filling mine, so I have your results, and then you have my results. And then we challenge each other on but each if, question. But if we're alternating between odds and evens, mm -hmm. I'm confused. I'll just read the odds, but we'll still both answer the question. And then you read the evens, ah, okay. but we both still answer the questions. I, I think I get it. Okay, let's so try I with... Have... <laughs> huh? I'm so confused. Okay, let's go for it. This is this is like how Manga Club started. I was like, let's just record and see what happens and we'll call it something. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, question one for the both of us, but uh, you specifically to answer right now. How about that? If I read it, you go into more detail on your answer. If you read it, I'll go into more detail on my answers. But ah, we'll okay. I see, answer. I see, I see. I see. You fill in my answers, I fill in your answers. So Alyssa, you are almost never late for your appointments. Uh, the little yes. Little yes. You are almost never late. Is that is that true? I am pretty punctual. Yeah, I have. Yeah. Um, if, if it's like a doctor's appointment, I guess. But I don't know. Aren't you like late for work all the time, or is that no. not considered an appointment? I'm not you're, late for work all the time. You're if literally never on time. <laughs> If I know I have like a specific appointment at a specific time, I'll be there like five, ten minutes early. Oh, I'm gonna do uh Jim Halpert from the office. Oh my god. <laughs> uh give me the little yes as well. <clears throat> yeah. It's actually a thing that my dad would instill in me. From um yeah, just being a teenager. I was gonna keep like making reaction faces because <laughs> I know you're on the personality page right now. I can see how white the screen oh, yeah. on your face. <laughs> no, okay. hang on, I'll do it properly. They, oh, there we go. I have us both on one side. And I can go on the side. There you go. Mm -hmm. Okay, you got a question too, so go ahead. Uh, you like to be engaged in an active and fast-paced job. Uncertain. Uncertain. Yeah, it really depends on my mood. If I had to choose day in, day out, I'd be like, give me a slow pace. I can slow pace the rest of my life. Yeah, I feel like I'm just right now because things are slow at work at the moment. I could feel like I want to be more engaged and active, but it's a good, I need a good balance. What I should I put for I'm you? <clears throat> we can both have the same answers, the whole personality. <laughs> Okay, I'll try to split off from you. You enjoy oh, having yeah. a wide circle of acquaintances. Hard no. Hard no. Uh, give me oh, a okay. give me a little yes. I like okay. Give me a little no. Okay, you got a little no. And then you you wanna wait 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 yes. hang on. I am filling in these and those if they're mine. No, I'm you're filling my answers for you, and I fill in your answers on here. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. As you feel fine. me? 
I you just spilled me. Test. Yes. Okay. To whatever you what? just said. What the hell are our cats doing? Uh, Gans is hurting Merlot, and I'm not stopping it. He deserves it. Oh, Gans is going kind of hard. Shit. Yeah, it's. Gans. Yeah, they're good. Yeah. <laughs> Stop. Oh, he didn't. Right, I got you. Ah! Oops, I hit my light. Okay, back to the personality test. Uh, even question, so you ask. Uh, you feel involved when watching TV soaps. Uh, I was going to say only the Japanese soaps I watch, but I definitely don't feel involved. Hard no. Ah, give me a little no. I can, yeah. If I'm drinking and watching a soap, oh, oh, if I got to take a Tylenol PM and a glass of wine, oh my God, it's my shit. <laughs> uh, shit. You? I remember the last time I was like at home during the weekday watching soaps. So it's like a no. Okay. Question five. <clears throat> yeah, You're no. usually the first, I'm oh, sorry, what? No, no, sorry. You Bye. said no, right? Question five, you're usually the first to react to a sudden event, the telephone ringing or unexpected question. Mm. It depends on the event. If it's something very in the moment that's like action based around me, I'll react. But if it's a question, I'm usually frozen. Uncertain. Uncertain. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, hard yes. I, I react way too quickly to everything. I run into danger. <laughs> Question six. Oh, sorry, you ask. You feel that the world uh, is founded on compassion. The world is founded on compassion? What's mm -hmm. compassion? I know empathy. Compassion. What the fuck's compassion? Uh, it's kind of hard to explain. It's like almost bound on like, it's like extreme empathy based on love. Uh, go soft, no. Soft, no. What about you? Uh, I would say yes. No, shit. I'm going to have to switch mine to a soft yes. And you're going to say okay. yes, like big yes? Soft yes. Soft yes. Question, <laughs> question seven. You think that everything in the world is relative or relative? Rel relative. Relative. Okay. How do you feel about that? And what is that? I would say yes. It's like everything in the world is related to one another. Oh, yeah. Put a hard yes for Like me. something happens here and which... That's, oh my God, these cats. It sounds so bad from up here. No! Okay, they're gone. <laughs> I didn't hit them. I hit the ground beside them, I promise. Okay. <clears throat> it was just some old denim lying around. This raw material that I work with. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh, hard yes, right? <coughs> hard yes, yep. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, strict observance of the established rules is likely to prevent attaining a good outcome. Hard yes. Mm. I'm going to say little yes. For me. Question number nine. It is difficult to get you excited. Uh, no. Soft no. Soft no. I'm going to go uncertain for mine. When making a decision, you rely more on your feelings than on analysis of the situation. When making a decision, I rely more on my feelings? Yeah. Definitely not. Then on uh, the analysis. I rely more on my feelings. So I'd, I'd actually go a hard no on that one. You don't rely on your feelings. Nope. Okay. Hard no? Hard no. Uh, for me, 
Let's do a soft no. Soft uh, no. Uh, Again, that's the thing that I'm trying to get better on. What's that? Maybe I'm picking ideally here. Reacting on my feelings more instead mm -hmm. of taking hard analysis. Mm -hmm. So what are you going with? Soft no. I already had you marked down soft no. Yeah. I'm trying to do the Donald Trump. <laughs> you see the uh, video of that one chick and she had to come out and say afterwards that you, you know I'm I'm mocking him, right? Like, I'm not supporting this guy. Oh, fuck. Yeah, yeah I know that you're talking about. Yeah. I didn't see her saying that, but once you said that, I know that you're talking about. The who, like, recreated it perfectly. Oh, yeah. Like, there's, there's yeah, yeah, yeah. Question 11. You often think about humankind and its destiny. Uh, uncertain. Really? No. Oh. Um, I go soft, yes. I like to think about spas and stuff. Spas. Sorry, hard yes or soft yes? Uh, soft yes. <laughs> Okay, you believe the best decision is one which can be easily changed. Uncertain. Uh, I want to say yes on that one. Stop yes. Question 13. You often ponder the root cause of phenomena and things. Uh, phenomena? Something phenomena. like a phenomena. We went different ways there. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm a little more R&B. You know, I like to keep it classic. I like to keep it street. That's what a lot of people don't know about me. Like, I'm, I'm from the streets. There's a street like right over there, and I sleep not 10 steps away. Uh -huh. Yes. I just, ha I just happen to have a shelter. Uh, 13, you often ponder, sorry. Yeah, 13? Yeah. Uh... Okay, you often ponder the root cause of phenomena and things. What a shit question. Alyssa, do you think yes. about staff? <laughs> do you think about space and staff? Staff and things. Staff and things. <laughs> Just thinking about the universe uh, yeah. and stuff. Yes, hard yes. Uh, no, stop okay. yes. I don't know if you've given a hard yes on anything yet. No, oh, you haven't. Look at no, you. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm just like that. Uh, I, yeah, I, I won't. Well, not nowadays, but beginning of the year, I definitely was. Put me down for a, a yes as well. Yes, soft yes. Soft yes. <clears throat> you prefer to act immediately rather than speculate about various options. Uh, I prefer to act immediately. I'd say no. Soft no. I want to go to like the most lawyer response in all of these and be like, it depends. Uncertain, uncertain. Um, but I guess your personality can be derived from where you go with the question without having to explain the question and just throwing your answer down. Yes, uncertain, no, no. Throw the cat out. Collect check. I'm gonna have, have to do a soft no too. You're gonna have to what? The soft no. Okay. Uh, this is question 14, right? Yes, okay. Uh, 15, you trust reason rather than feelings. Uh, God damn it, uncertain. Uncertain and uh, go, do, 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 do. I do trust reason, put a, put a yes. You are inclined to rely more on improvisa no. improvisation oh. than on prior planning. Soft yes. 
Uh, let's see, let's see. As much and as I have things software. planned out, I um, I really lean on, let's see what happens a lot. I like this manga club. Question 17. You spend your leisure time actively socializing with a group of people, attending parties, shopping, ETC, dot. There's a dot uh -huh. after the uh, ETC. Uh -huh. I'm looking at the same test, yeah. Yes. How do you how do you answer that question? <laughs> well, not right now. Hard no. Um, uh, oh, sorry. I like I soft. Soft no. Okay, okay. Uh, for me, I'm pretty yes. Hard yes. Hmm? Or soft yes. This is soft yes. Okay. You usually plan your actions in advance. Some of these are really repetitive. Uh, that's what I mean. If they, depending on how you word a question, a person could view it differently. And I'm wondering if that's how they derive a personality out of these repetitive bullshit questions. You usually plan your actions in advance. I will say yes, soft. Yes, a thousand times yes. Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna do a soft yes. <clears throat> your actions are frequently influenced by your emotions. Uh, yes. Yes for me as well. Mm -hmm. I'm over here yawning and drinking a fucking teapot's worth of chamomile tea. And I've taken uh -huh. Tylenol PM and I've just been throwing back wine glass after wine glass. <laughs> All right, you're on question. Yeah. What's that? <laughs> Wasn't there some kind of wine that was like cat urine or some bullshit? Or like cat chick urine. placenta? I remember there's a weird wine that I... came out. It was like... No idea. Period blood maybe? Oh, I can't remember. What the fuck? There was some kind of specialty like wine out of Europe. Uh... No, no. It, it, it contained either period blood, placenta, or... Um, cat pee or something weird. I can't remember what it was. No idea. Not heard of it. Um, you are a person somewhat reserved and distant in communication. So racist. Um, go uncertain for me. Just stupid ass question. Uh, put a yes for me. All right. Hard yes for Alyssa. You, I'm soft kidding. Yes. I, I put soft yes. You know how to yes. put every minute of your time to good purpose. <laughs> no. No? Uh, go hard. Not, yes, soft no. You, you put hard yes? Mm -hmm. Awesome. You're up. Okay. You often contemplate the complexity of life. As much as I hate the question, I had to go hard yes again. I think about the shit way too much. Honestly, I'm trying to find my place in the world. I'm getting so fucking lost. Uh, go soft yes for me. Uh, soft yes, yeah. Right, we're almost there. We're getting there. We, we, we might see a hard yes yet. We're one third of the way down here. We might see one. <laughs> After prolonged socializing, you feel the need to get away and be alone. This is going to be the first hard yes. Hard yes for me as well. Ha! You often do jobs in a hurry. Hard no. Holy fuck. The hardest no we can put on this whole thing. Hard, hard no. I am so fucking slow. Uncertain for me. Again, it kind of depends. You easily see the general principle behind specific occurrences. That's the yes for me. Uh, easily see the general principle. Yeah, but yes for me as well. Are you frequently and easily express your feelings and emotions? Me? Hard yes. Uh, you think I get in a boy band with this like sex look right here? Yeah. Up until they see me from the side. Oh my goodness. I lose my appeal when I'm from the side. You I know my that. strengths. I know my strengths. 
if you're not physically in the room with me and you've only seen a photo of me, you're going to be like, who's that no jaw having ass? <laughs> See, it's like mature adult, baby face, 12 year old. <laughs> Sorry, what question? Are you uh, I frequently express my emotions and feelings. Hard yes. What'd you say? Uh, only certain people. So it's not frequently. It's probably no. If I, I dump on everyone. Holy shit. I, I, I almost overshare in the world and I fucking love it. You learn so much about people when they like answer your questions with a... Well, the way I see it, like I just got some period blood on the toilet seat and I, I meant to wipe it, but now, well, like she's not talking to me anymore. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, all I said was I was having a hard day. Yeah, some chick told me she had a a, a, a urinary tr tract infection. I think it's called a UTI. Like uh -huh. a, she, I gave her an overshare kind of to fuck with her because she talks yeah. too much, and then she came back with like, "I have a urinary tract infection." Isn't that funny? Yeah, it's like a weird phenomenon when someone says to overshare, and then the other <laughs> person is immediately feeling like, "Okay, hey, well, I need to share something too." You uh, too. A UTI. I shit myself this morning. That's why I was. <laughs> that's why you had to wait for the back door. Yeah, sorry. Uh, we're sidetracking. You feel difficult to speak loudly. Yes. Hard no. Okay, sorry. Yes. Uh, no, I don't find it hard at all. Uh, yeah, put a hard no for me. Oh, sorry. Put a hard I yes for you. Hard Regular yes. Hard yes for me and then hard no for you. Yeah. I talk way too much. Uh, you get bored if you have to read theoretical books. What's theoretical? Uh, Wait, all right, hold on. Is this a theoretical book? A, I would say that you're one that you got. Yeah, I would think that's a more theoretical book. It talks about the theory of trauma. It's not a theory. Okay. <laughs> no, I love oh this God. shit. I can read this shit all day. Um, I get. Let's nice, go soft now. If it was like a different book, maybe about like spas and stuff, I'd probably get bored. Soft, <laughs> space and staff. That's what I'm supposed to say. <laughs> if it's about space and staff, uh, yeah, go soft no for me. Soft no for me too. I have read some boring ass books in university. You tend to sympathize with other people. Uh uh. Sam. There's some books that are so goddamn boring. Wait, hold on. We totally miss each other. What did you think I said? What do you think um, I said? Speak loudly when you answered, too. <laughs> first off, you said simp. Before um, that. <laughs> you um, don't empathize with other people's feelings or something? Uh, no, you tend to sympathize with other people. Ah. Oh. That's why I called you simp for sympathize. Huh. I get it. Uh, but what, uh, what's the answer? For me, it's uh, soft no. Soft no. Uh, what sympathize again when you care about them? Oh wait, 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 wait. wait. Uh, yeah, that I was a question you asked. I asked you. Okay. I want a, I want I a hard so no for you. Don't worry. No. <laughs> what? Uh, soft you, yes. You tend to sympathize with other people. Hard no for Melissa. Soft yes. Put a soft yes for me too. Okay. Um, you value justice higher than mercy. Hard no. Uh, I will say a soft no. You rapidly get involved in the social life of a new workplace. Soft no. Uh, put soft yes for me. <sighs> no, I'll go hard yes for me. I tend to make friends quickly and easily and then get way too involved. Way too personal. Do you guys know I have a urinary tract infection? Uh, the more people you speak to, the better you feel. The hardest of yeses. Uh, soft yes. You tend to rely on your experience rather than theoretical alternatives. Mm. 
Shit. Uncertain for me. Uh, put a yes for me. Remember when every girl's like Facebook photo was like this, like them off to the side, and then just a whole shit of nothing. Okay, sorry. Yeah, because they would like do the thing where they cover half their face. Who thinks I'm deep? My left side is my bad side. <laughs> I'm blowing someone like off that. camera. <laughs> As a rule, <laughs> you proceed only when you have a clear and detailed plan. As a rule, proceed only when I have a clear and detailed plan? Uh, soft no. Soft no for me too. You easily empathize with the concerns of other people. Hard yes. To a fault. Put a hard yes for me too. I, I, can you empathize and also have no action? Welcome to Canada. It would probably cause, cause great discomfort in you. Just a bit of duress. You got question 36. <laughs> and you're using it right. I know, yeah, which sucks. It's a stupid word that sounds too $5 for me to be using. <laughs> you it's often, like when someone pronounces uh, uh, childish or you prefer- childish or childerish. That's just childish. Ah, whatever. What? Sorry, go ahead. There's a way to pronounce childish, childish or something like that. I have no idea. Uh, often you prefer to read a book than go to a party. No, I party every day of the week. Hard no. Uh, If you put yes, I'm coming upstairs and I'm spitting on you. (laughs) Soft no. (laughs) We established that. When? I used my safe word the last time. Did you? (laughs) <laughs> when with a group of people, you enjoy being directly involved and being at the center of attention, Alyssa. Hard no. Hard. Eh. Fuck, I do like attention. Put a soft yes. <laughs> I like being involved, but I don't like being at the center of attention. I think you pointed that out once where you pointed out once we were a party and I was talking and talking about work specifically and all of a sudden I noticed everybody in the room was paying attention to what I was saying. I was like, oh, you guys are all listening. Uh 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 And then kind of like stumbled my way through the rest of my story. It was the first time I witnessed Alyssa Bird dazzle a room and I was hooked. Actually, second time. Dark. Technically, the first time was a more of a white lodge than a room. Um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So hard no. Okay, sorry. 38. <laughs> uh, you are more inclined to experiment than to follow familiar approaches. No, I think soft no. Put uncertain. Don't like the question. Uh. I just want to stop for one second now that we are halfway through all the questions. If you're listening along right now, make sure you're in the comment section oh, typing shit. one yes, two no, three no as we go along with this. And I'll plug them into the personality test myself and I will email you your personality. Um, you could be uh, a stay at home full time mom. Uh, you could be, um, have the personality of only being gay and that's it. Um, you can be a complete and total asshole. Sorry, go ahead. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, uh, your plug. Okay. Okay. <laughs> huh? What? Not to... Okay. Uh, yes for that one. Soft yes. All right, question 39. You are strongly touched by the stories of other people's troubles. Mm. Uncertain. Stuff yes for me. Uh, Deadlines seem to you to be 
a relative rather than absolute importance? Hard yes. Fuck a deadline. <laughs> uh, I'm certain. I can't wait to be in my very early 30s like just starting my 30s and immediately missing deadlines for the first time in university. You said uncertain? Yes. I can get huh. in real trouble work-wise <laughs> if I miss certain deadlines. You prefer to isolate yourself from outside noises? Um, no. I'm going to have to go with a no as well. Oh, my God. Oh, huh. Yeah, uh, part of my life being too noisy was um, part of the problem with the panic attack. So let's go with a no. I still like the noise. I just had to, you know, filter it sometimes. Wait, so you prefer to isolate yourself from the no up to noise? No, no, I like the noise. Okay. I just have to recognize when it is important for me to isolate from the noise. But I do like the noise. <laughs> Makes me feel connected. Like if I could, I would have a radio going somewhere at all times. Mm -hmm. I feel that's why yeah. I have like background shows. Yeah, I, I used to like if I could have cable and just have it on the news at all times in the background. If I'm driving, I had to have like a radio. When I when I grew up, I would have the radio by the bed, and if I was like scared at nighttime or like woke up from a nightmare, I'd just turn the volume up a little louder and be like, "Hey, <laughs> everybody, dance now!" I just had a nightmare. Uh, uh. Question forty-two. Uh, for you, it is easier to gain knowledge through hands-on experience than from books or manuals. Yes. Hard or soft? Soft. Soft for me, too. Yeah. Uh, if, if, if it's a hard yes, I'll say hard yes. Everything else will just be soft. Okay. Gotcha. Question 43. You think that almost everything, everything, gah, can be sorry <laughs> I see you, you think that almost everything can be analyzed uh yes me as well uh, for you no surprises is better than surprises bad or good ones my life is a series of empty promises and broken dreams <laughs> just kidding but we're talking about surprises Good or bad? Um, your cat died this morning, and I was expecting to get called to a hospital. Um, yes, say yes. Uh, no. You take pleasure in putting things in order. This is just kidding. Uh, in order. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, for me, yes, as well. You feel at ease in the crowd? Hard no. Don't even look at me. Don't even. Yes. I'm surprised I didn't have a panic attack at that WWE show we went to. Like, I was mm -hmm. on the edge like, twice, I think, during that show. Shit. I just bottled it. I have no idea. Oh, yeah. At one point, I was, like, physically shaking, thinking I could die, like, right now. <laughs> but whatever. <laughs> uh, and what would you say, sir? Uh, yes. A hard yes, okay. Soft yes. Little mosh pit. Quinn. Uh-huh. <laughs> you have good control over your desires and temptations. Uh, yes. Hard yes for me. Uh, you easily understand new theoretical principles. Not easily, no. Almost not at all. <laughs> I don't easily understand at all. Hard no. I wish I was better at that. Uh, I wish I yes. could just take something and accept it at once, you know. Sorry, what did you say? Oh, so, never mind. I got it. Okay. Uh, you usually place yourself nearer to the side than the center of a room. Uh, yes. Yes, for me as well. When solving a problem, you would rather follow a familiar approach than seek a new one. I'm certain. I'm certain for me too. As a thirst for adventure is something close to your heart. Too. Uh. 
Mm, what a weird age to be thinking about that. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm certain. Uh, just no for me. Fuck adventure. Adventure stupid. It's not stupid. <laughs> I just fear everything. <laughs> When considering a situation, you pay more attention to the current situation and less to a possible sequence of events. When considering, I'm going to have to read this one. When considering a situation, you pay more attention to the current situation and less to possible sequence? No, I'm always, again, I fear everything. If A is going to happen, then what happens if maybe B, C, and D happen? Is that, am I understanding the question correctly? I think so. Uh, la, 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 la. Like, yeah, if I'm at, like at a concert and, or something. Like, that... No, it's more like if um, you're. It's the difference between whether or not you're thinking of what's going to be the immediate reaction, rather yeah. than what's going to be the sequence of events afterwards. The fallout. No, I think about the fallout way too much. That's why I can't live in the moment. <laughs> Uh, go yes. Uh, oh, sorry, no, go no. Go no. Go to the other side, to the other side. Uh, Let me get my Jim Halpert. Uh, uh, no for me as well. <laughs> you fool. Okay. Uh, when solving a problem, you consider the rational approach <laughs> to be the best. I'm going to put that as a yes for me. Uh, and I'm going to say, what's rational? Oh, I know what rational is. Yeah, put a soft yes for me. Hey, Alyssa, find, ask me this question. You find it difficult to talk about your feelings. Hard no. I do not find it difficult to talk about my feelings. Hey, Merlo, I had a tough week last week, but this week's been shaping up all right. I love you, buddy. Come back, you fucking dick. Oh, he stinks like shit. I hate that fucking cat. No, you don't. I don't hate the cat. He just smells bad. He was so aggressive. Um, I find it difficult. Yeah, I put a hard no. I get therapy tomorrow. <laughs> uh, and for you? Uh, yes. Hard yes. You, I'm saying I'm putting soft. Not a hard yes. <laughs> Your decisions are based more on the feeling of the moment than the thorough planning. Don't kneel on the couch, you jerk. This ass cat. No. Okay, no. Uh, and I'm going to say uncertain because I don't like the question. Mm -hmm. You prefer to spend your leisure time alone or relaxing on a tranquil atmosphere? Oh man, I'm learning a lot of new words. What's tranquil mean? Like tranquility and like Zen mode and relax. Uh, I'm getting into tranquility with my meditations and shit, but no, nah, I still find it. I still, yeah, put a yes to answer the question. I still find me relaxing with my phone and unwinding after a day. I, I would prioritize that over actually meditating and doing yoga or something like that. Hey, head over here. Be cute over here. Be cute this direction. Fuck. Uh, yes, for me as well. Question 57. You feel more comfortable sticking to conventional ways, my lawyer from reservation. <laughs> what? You feel more comfortable sticking to conventional ways? No. No for me as well. Can you be uh, You're easily <laughs> affected by strong emotions. Yeah, that's kind of the problem. <laughs> but yes. Uh, yes for me as well. You are always looking for opportunities. Talk about sex. Yeah. Oh, I'm off camera when I do that. <laughs> Talking about penis. Fuck, okay, sorry. Um, <laughs> you're always looking for opportunities. You said yes, sorry? Yeah. And I'll go uncertain for me. Ah. 
Oh, as a rural current. Uh, nice to meet you. Uh, current preoccupations worry you more than your future plans. Yes. Uncertain for me. It Just is like our future. What'd you say about our future? Not our future. <laughs> Alyssa. Not our future. <laughs> Shit, that really pops. Sorry the about that. future of the world. There's not even going to be a world in four years. We're all going to fart and die or something. What if we all turn to cats? Is that cool? Then we can all sing songs. Uh, it is easy for you to communicate in social situations. Uh, no. Uh, for me, put easy to commute. Put uncertain. Or commute. <laughs> Communicate, not commute. Uh, put uncertain. Okay. I'm having a hard time <laughs> getting from here to there. Getting to the place. <laughs> <laughs> you rarely deviate from your habits. Mm, but yes. Uh, fun, certain for me. You are willing to involve yourself in matters which engage your sympathies. Uh, yes. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, put yes for me too. I'm kind of like really willing, actually. But I don't want to put a hard yes for that one. No, come back. I miss you. I never loved you. You easily. What'd you say about Merlot? <laughs> that I love him and I miss him. <laughs> okay. You easily perceive various ways in which events could develop. I like to think so, because I'm such a cynic sometimes. Yeah, put yes. Yes, for me too. All right. Uh, All right. Let's go with your results first. Score it. If I have to fucking share or get an email. I was oh, going to okay. say, it's like a pair with a wall. <laughs> um, you are an INFJ type. Introvert, intuitive, feeling, judging. INFJs are distinguished by both their complexity of character and the usual range and depth of their talent beneath the quiet, sorry, beneath the, I lost my spot. Things about the compression character and the unusual range and depth of their talent strongly humanitarian in outlooks. INFJs tend to be idealist and because of their J preference for closure and completion, they are generally doers as well as dreamers. This rare combination of vision and practice often results in INFJs taking a disproportionate amount of responsibilities in the various causes to which so many of them seem to be drawn. This goes on for quite a while. Holy shit, this goes on. Fuck this. <laughs> we don't need to read all of it. Yeah, I'll try to speed read. And the second I fumble like three words in a row, I'll stop reading. Okay. Infages are deeply concerned about their relationships and individuals as well as the state of human ma humanity at large. They are, in fact, sometimes mistaken for extroverts because they appear so, so outgoing and are so genuinely interested in people, a product of the feeling function they most readily show the world. On the contrary, infages are true introverts who can only be emotionally intimate and fulfilled with, a cho with chosen few from among their long-term friends, families, or obvious soulmates, while instinctively courting the personality and organ organizational demands continually made upon them by others at uh, intervals. Infigies will suddenly withdraw into themselves, sometimes shutting out even their intimates. What? Partners, I assume? Okay, I fucked mm -hmm. up my reading. That's as far as we I, get. Do you, like, the thing I don't like about personality tests is when they fucking, comp like, over compliment in the beginning to get you hooked and then want to share this. <laughs> You know, I'm an INFJ. That means that because I'm a Pisces, that fuck everyone else who's not a Pisces. So I'm just, <laughs> that's what it says. Sorry, go ahead. No, no, you're I, I have issues with compliments. Have issues. I have issues with compliments. I don't like them. Mm -hmm. Reject them immediately. I reject myself at every turn I get. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't be happy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
right, you are ENFJ. Extrovert, 25%, intuitive, 19 feeling, 25%, judging, 12 You have moderate preference for extroversion over introversion. You have a slight preference of intuition over sensing. You have moderate preference of feeling over thinking. You have a slight preference of judging over perceiving. I judge, and I prefer my feelings. But I thought facts didn't care about my feelings. Ham, you have a... Let's read the type description because there's different things here. You can read the type uh, description, staff Mm -hmm. development and teamwork, uh, careers, pre-employment testing. How this is good for my business. (laughs) Okay, your careers. Oh, shit, I clicked the wrong fucking link. I'm going to read the first one for you. Okay. Uh, ENFJs are the benevolent pedagogies of humanity. They have tremendous charisma by which many are drawn into their natural nutrients tutelage and or grand schemes did i just get called nutritional uh nutrient tutelage okay (laughs) people are like drawn to my nutrients are you calling my energy (laughs) nutritional because i gotta check the vibe as soon as i walk in a room and after i leave i gotta smudge my vibes what the fuck are you looking at (laughs) Many ENFJs have tremendous power to manipulate others with their phenomenal interpersonal skills and unique salesmanship. But That's right. You were being catfish from the beginning, Alyssa. Oh I will God. not stop interrupting. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. But it's usually not meant as manipulation. ENFJs are generally believe in their dreams and see themselves as helpers and enablers, which they usually are. ENFJs are global learners. They see the big picture. The ENFJs focus is expansive. Some can juggle an amazing number of responsibilities or projects simultaneously. Many ENFJs have tremendous intro entrepreneurial ability. ENFJs are, by definition, Js with whom we associate organization and decisiveness, but they don't resemble the SJs or even the NTJs in organization of the environment, nor occasional, oh crap. I don't know how to recalcitrant. I'm a recalculator. Recalcitrance. I have never incurred or interacted with that word before. ENFJs are organized in the arena of interpersonal affairs. Their offices may or may not be cluttered, but their conclusions reach through feelings about people and motives are drawn much more quickly and are more resilient than those of their NTF counterparts. Uh, last paragraph here. Well, there's more, but... ENFJs know and appreciate people. Like most NFs and feelers in general, they are apt to neglect themselves and their own needs for the needs of others. They have thinner psychological boundaries than most and are at risk for being hurt or even abused by less sensitive people. ENFJs often take on on more burden of others than they can bear. I'm, I'm constantly burdened by the stress of others. Sorry, let me hit that with the gym. <laughs> I can uh, send you this. So I, you can, uh, I, I sent you yours. Oh, okay. But an INFJ is now an infajig. Infajig. Well, that'll wrap it up for week 26 of the Manga oh, Fuck, what are we doing right now? Manga Club. Um, if everyone else was here, we would have done a fucking group personality test. I just want you to know that I take personality tests. That is the big takeaway here. And if your profile picture on anything across any social media platform, I'm talking the odd ones like Reddit, uh, YouTube, uh, fucking, uh, what, are the, what are the other nutty ones? Tinder. If you have a fucking Joker picture as your display photo <laughs> in anything, your opinion does not matter and you will never make a difference in the world. All right, bye. I think I hit stop. Did I? Shit. Okay. Well, I, I've been, I've been Jeff. Uh, this is Alyssa. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Now bye. <laughs>